fifth grade teacher Emily Love in honoring our country as she sings our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the Test, test. Test, test. Test, test. Test, test. Test, so we're here in a non-conference uh, game with the uh, Eagles of Cambridge City Lincoln. Uh, like I said before, this is Coach McLaughlin, and I'm uh, here with Coach Bob Todd. We're going to try to bring you uh, some audio tonight, and uh, I know we've got a little background here, uh, and so you may get a little of the full effect of uh, the crowd noise tonight and uh, I'll try to bring you a little bit of the play-by-play -play, a little bit of action and um, hope that you enjoy it as we're by no means are we professional at this but we're going to try to uh, give you a little insight from the way we from the way we see it up here and um, we'll just uh, try to do our best to pass on uh, some basketball knowledge and uh, try to, uh, like I said, give you a little of a coaching insight. We'll take a short break and we'll be ready to go. Number 20, Rachel Number 22, Jenna Bye. 
bringing the ball up the floor. Test, test.
Well, we're hoping that uh, you might be able to hear us now. We didn't realize that uh, you couldn't hear us in the first half. But uh, we apologize for that. But I can promise you this, Bob Todd, who is here with me, and my assistant coach, and myself, Coach McLaughlin, we commented and uh, <laughs> announced that uh, uh, we did one heck of a job announcing that whole first great. half. First half of commentary. I, I tell you, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say, but I thought we were really good. So uh, let's take a short break and we'll be right back. All right, two minutes, and like we said, uh, Westdale now with a 27 to 10 lead. So, Coach, looks like uh, we've got two minutes to uh, talk about that first half. Why don't you tell me a few things that you saw in that first half that uh, you thought we did well, and uh, well, right before we get started here with the second half. Well, I thought minus a couple possessions there where uh, Lincoln was able to kind of go on their little bit of a run, we took care of the ball. We had good inside-out action where we were able to then make those out passes to girls with their feet set to get good shots. Um, as a team, the defensive energy and the mixing up of their defenses was, I think, giving Lincoln some trouble, whether the trap was coming or not. And uh, like I said, we were able to early, especially, get a lot of transition buckets from the defense. Yeah, and I'll agree with you. And one of the things that um I know coaches, we like to uh, watch other people coach. And one of the things I thought Coach Giesman did a really nice job and you commented on was mixing up the defenses there. And it really kept Cambridge off balance because we, they got a little comfortable there for a second in the second half. And, uh, well, I'm sorry, toward the end of the first um, quarter, they got a little comfortable and made a little run on us. And uh, I thought we did a much better job of mixing things up. We changed it to a little bit of a 1-2-2, uh, two, two, kind of a pack line defense where we just stayed. Uh, what that means is we don't extend past the three-point line. And I thought we did a nice job of really keeping them off balance. And then a few times we trapped when the ball went below the, the free throw line. And uh, I thought that, again, kept them off balance. So, you know, things we'd like to see us continue doing, I think that defensively, sometimes can really win games for you. And defensively, you can uh, do really nice things defensively. It gives you so much uh, confidence on the offensive end. And then I thought we did a great job, like you said, of going inside out. Ball touched the paint, kick it out. We got great shots on the opposite wing, great shots for three. I thought that uh, we did a really nice job with that. And so let's hope that continues. So here we go to start the third quarter with Westall. And Andrea Stoughton's back in. She had those two fouls. I had to sit a lot. So she's going to probably have to try to get herself back into the mix here. There's a pass down to the baseline to Jackie Knott. Back out to Andrea. Nice ball screen. And there we go, inside out again. Outside, another great look. That one just didn't fall, but inside to Ra Raven. And Raven felt the defense on her back and they've done a nice job with that. Every once in a while, they're going to have to turn and face the basket to keep the defense off and honest. Yeah, I mean, that's going to continue to give us that open look outside. It's, it's like you said, she turns and faces and makes the defense respect that. Nice steal right there. Again, we're in the 2-2-1. Nice steal by Raven Lazatter. Jump ball goes back to Cambridge City Lincoln. Now we're in more of a 2-2-1, two, two, almost a diamond to one. Now it looks like. Pass over the top to number 20. Nice pass inside. She wasn't able to finish, but really nice pass from the freshman, Anderson, number 20 for Lincoln. Jackie brings the ball up the left side. Inside to Raven, opposite. Bring it back out. Andrea's gonna set up the offense. Coach is getting a set play. Lakin staying in the 2-3 zone again. Marcy runs through, we got a high post action. Marcy's got that wing three, just a little short, out of bounds. Looks like Kylie maybe came down on somebody's foot. And uh, I know that she'll say, no, I don't want to go out. I've seen that before. I've seen every game this year and I've seen her fall down and I wonder how she gets back up and she, she will not come out of the game. I'll have to make her. She's still staying active at the top of that. It's like a 1-3-1 one, one now. Coach is in the 1-3-1 one, one, three-quarter court. Oh, she let that go, Andrea. Good hustle, but 
lets that ball go, it's probably our ball. Yeah, you hate to hate the hustle, <laughs> but uh, like I said, you got to know when that's right and when it's wrong. Let's go back now. Now we're going to come back out in the trap, throw them off balance, inside out. Goes open for a second. Westo recovers. Back down to the baseline to the freshman Anderson. Can't get split right there. It's one of the rules of the trap. You cannot get split. Didn't end up costing us, but rebound there by Andrea Stoughton. She's going to push it ahead to Jackie Knott for three. Just short. We've shot a lot of threes tonight. Now we've hit several of them, but we've shot a lot of threes. Looks like we're going to trap. Again, Raven reads the next pass. There's a deflection. Good things will happen. Come up with it, girls. Nice steal and got a block on Lincoln. And Lincoln, number three, is not real happy about that. I don't blame her. The ball was kind of loose, but a lot of contact. You have to call something. And that's the right call, but it's just a tough one when you know the offensive player is out of a, out of a control a little bit. Nice shot fake by Andrea Stoughton. One dribble pull up and knocks it down. Set back up into the three-quarter court. Nice read by Marcy. She's done a nice job of reading that and head Andrea over the top. Scores it. The timeout, Cambridge City Lincoln. So a nice start for West High. Able to extend the lead. That's what you want to do coming out of the halftime. Okay, Mercedes is going to take a 30 second timeout. So, Coach, you've got a game tomorrow, right? We've got to travel. Where, where are we going tomorrow? Yeah, the C team boys will travel to Eastern Hancock tomorrow. We've got a C team game at Eastern Hancock. Um, I believe this is the only game for the girls this week, so they'll get the rest of the week off, and they've had that's rare for them. They've had several games throughout the week, so they'll be off the rest of the week boys will have uh, two home games this weekend. We play Union at home. It's a 6 o'clock varsity only start and then we play Monroe Central which is now a 6 o'clock varsity start. So uh, due to some unforeseen issues come up today with two varsity only games. I believe Coach Giesman told me before the game tonight that the G uh, JV girls have a game Saturday night at oh, okay. Union City, I believe he said. Oh, I think that's true. I think they just added that, I heard. You probably know that. I have a daughter playing. Uh, loose ball. Good hustle all the way around with all the girls. Jump ball goes to Westville. Couple subs. Ellie Swift and Lauren Cox check back in the game. Raven Lazander looks like she could use a break. She looks like she's really tired and she's been working hard out there. Cambridge City is in a, uh, it's a 2-3. They're just starting their top defender a little higher. Almost looks like a 1-1-1-3, one, 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 but it's more of a 2-3, just extended. Uh, turnover there, steal, come 20 on the break. Misses the layup, rebounded, missed again. Tipped out and stolen by Marcy Bunch. She's ahead of the pack, and she's able to finish it. It's a nice tip in the steal. Kylie's got top of that 1-3-1. One, one. Marcy's just reading those passes back there in that linebacker spot. Yes, she is. Got a few turnovers for him this here in the early Marcy, going of this third quarter. She wanted that ball back. Hey, I just got the steal. Throw it right over here. Pass to Allie. Inside out. Long three. I want to ask Coach how many threes they shot after this game. Uh oh, oh, Marcy's stands right in front of there. Tried to almost take the charge. A little bit of contact and no call. Goes, turnover goes to Westell. Some subs coming in for Cambridge City also. So 3.50 left on the clock. Westo with a 33 to 10 lead. 
Looks like Plusto's gonna move the ball around a little bit. Nice movement, getting some nice movement. Some Andrew Stilton's cutting through. Anytime you can get the zone to shift inside out, Lauren Cox sets her feet just short. Kick back out. There's kind of what we were looking for earlier. We're aiming to be aggressive out of that high post to keep them honest. Yeah, I think that's going to continue to, allow to look opposite and kick it back out when needed if she can, like I said, turn and face and try to get to the rim as well. This pull up by Andrea just off the back rim, rebounded by Cambridge City. We switched up defenses again, and Cambridge City is trying to figure out what they want to run. Ooh, nice read by Ellie. Good deflection by Ellie. You know, it's one of the things we talk about with our players. Find a way to contribute, and Ellie struggled on the offensive end tonight, but she's really played pretty good defense and really hustled out there. So nice read on the back side of that to get a deflection. See a little more pep in her step now. But still staying in that zone. Pack line defense now. Kind of matching up as the ball comes through. Doing a really nice job of passing that high post on from wing to high to the point for the player. Nice steal there by Ali Swift off the deflection. Another three for Westell. Rebounded by Raven. Puts it up. Just a little long. Like you said, we have not shown a shyness of <laughs> shooting the three ball. When you shoot that three, you want to shoot it with confidence. And I'm telling you, we shot it with confidence tonight. We haven't hit all of them, but we, we're shooting it with confidence. Andrew's trying to read that outside steal. Alex picks up the outside defender. Girls have done a nice job, just containment at this point. You don't want to foul. We haven't fouled yet this quarter. And another deflection. I don't know if Coach keeps deflections. I know that's a big stat for us. I'm sure he probably does. If not, I'm sure they talk about it. But deflections, good things happen when you get a deflection. So well, I've seen Raven there look over at Coach and say, catch it. Like yeah. she knew she probably could have <laughs> caught that one rather than knocking it out. Raven's really been active on the inside of that both offensively and defensively. She worked really hard down there. Defensively, we're still active. Oh, Marcy had that. She was going to dunk it, I think. There's a <laughs> pass on the opposite side. Looked like a few years back when we had Sutter Foster at the top of that zone, and all he wanted to do was get a steal so he could dunk it. I feel like that's how Marcy's face. And now she's smiling and laughing about it because she knows she had a wide open steal layup. So Number 11, Kelsey Stevens at the line. Kelsey Stevens will have two shots. You know, the one thing that does when you don't get that steal, which that wasn't the wrong play. She should have just had that steal, and she knows that. But it puts your defense at a little bit of a disadvantage, so that allows the other team to get a shot off. And we had to foul there, which was our first foul of this second half. But we had to foul because we were out of position at four on five. So... A little foul there on Cambridge City Lincoln. Good sportsmanship, helping each other up. I've seen our girls play, like I said, every game this year, and I know that we are we have some of the best girls with sportsmanship, some of the best girls in the school playing basketball right now. And they're always fun to watch and always carry themselves great. So nice rebound there off the missed shot by Allie. Marcy picks it up. And moving the ball around. Alley's open, see if she gets a shot off. Just long. Oh, Raven grabs it out of her hands. Drops, oh, she got fouled. The official under the basket didn't really want to call that. I've seen him before somewhere. And uh, I, and that somewhere was this past Friday night in our game. And I, don't, I think I reminded him that he didn't call a few under there too. But um, Raven definitely got fouled. She, Steps the line for two shots. She kind of rushed it a little bit. Yeah, it's over here. I like, vaguely remember I you reminding him a couple times. That, uh, yeah, yeah. He might have. I think he was surprised. Slow. I said hi to him when they walked by, but you know, 
Hey, different day. Right. Chances are I'll have him again sometime. So. All right, men, some fences. Let's pass, reversal. Oh. Now we're frustrated with herself. <laughs> Raven's going to get a well deserved break here. Yeah, like you said earlier, Ravens played hard on both ends of the, uh, of the floor. Kylie's being really active at the top here. We've got a little bit of a token press. We're going to trap when it gets to half court. Marcy's doing a good job. A nice defensive stance right there. But don't foul. And just don't a little bit of a out reach. right there. You've got a good solid trap. She's already used her dribble. You know, and then we want to go and reach. Yeah, and, and you get frustrated as a coach, but you're frustrated as a player too because you've got them in trouble right there. You don't need to foul them, but you get overly aggressive, and, and it's hard to back off sometimes. Nice pass inside. Deflection again leads to something good. We get a steal. Stoughton pushing it. Kick back out to Alley. Nice shot fake. Little drive. Off the Kansas City. I'll stay right here. Yeah, she got knocked down pretty hard on that one. She's a pretty tough kid too, though. She'll stay in. Jackie Knott checks back in. See what we run here out of the out baseline out of bounds. Is this short for Jackie? She's gonna be out, out of bounds to Cambridge City with 18 seconds left in the third quarter. Again, here we go with some like a, almost a diamond and one with our backs of girls all, all the way up. And we got eight seconds, don't foul. Especially on a shot, you don't want to foul. Oh, and there's the foul. A, a loose ball foul doesn't hurt you too much right there. You don't, definitely don't want to foul on a shot with two seconds left. So here we've got number 20 bringing the ball in again. I don't know if they have enough time to run that same play. It looks more like they're going to run more of a cross play, get a quick shot. And they do. Got a rebound and miss. So after the third quarter, Westell with a 33 to 11 lead heading into the fourth quarter. Um, nice job there, I believe. We held them to one point that quarter. Then they have 10 at halftime. So. Yeah, so we held them to one point there, and I think the key to tonight's game has been our, our defense. Uh, we definitely led to some some good shots on the other end, but what it's really done is limit them, and we've done a nice job eliminating them to basically one shot. They'll get one shot when they do, or we'll get a, a uh, you know deflection or a steal, but when they've gotten a shot off in half court, they've basically only gotten one shot, and then we've done a nice job of blocking out, and I, I feel like that... Uh, it's kind of been the strength tonight. So, um, you know, leading me here in the fourth quarter, you want to find a way to continue doing good things and you want to find a way to finish off a team. Here. Yeah, I know we talk about it with the boys is, you know, continuing to just play the right way and put the game away. And, uh, I'm sure that's what Coach Giesman would like to see here as they try to finish this one out. And that's what they do a better job. We've not... It's not been our strength this year so far. We like to keep those games close at the end. Yes, sir. Okay, so it's Cambridge ball on the side. We just, I think we thought it was ours or far got which way we were going there for a second. So Cambridge, gonna have to figure out which zone we're in right now. Looks like we're gonna be in that, unless we trap low, we're gonna kind of be in that one, two, two. Yeah. Like I said, kind of that pack line defense. See what they do if it goes below the free throw line. The deflection there. Good job by Marcy. She's done a great job. And really, Raven has too, but Marcy has done a great job on that backside of reading the next pass. Yeah, I agree. Several steals and deflections out of that spot. And right now, the clock is your, uh, if you're Lincoln, it's your enemy. If you're Westa, you want that clock to run as much as possible. So, you know, if you can just pack it in, make them take long possessions, it's a good thing. Good things will happen. So, it was a quick pass and shot, number 14. Got the yeah, loose ball, jump ball, and that'll go to Westa. Yeah, like I said, from our standpoint, long possessions on the 
for them is a win for us. Obviously, you want to get the defensive stop and limit them to one shot still, but if we can make them take that long possession with the score the way it is, that should play good for us. So Cambridge is going to stay in that 2-3 zone, and, and Coach is going to stay aggressive. Looks like he wants to stay aggressive and work on a few things. Andrew dribbles into a trap and kind of gets in trouble. Oh, Raven. We talked about that earlier, and she may, maybe she heard us. I mean, we weren't on the air earlier, so maybe now it's getting down yeah. to them. Yeah, yeah, now that we're actually on the air, we yeah. relayed down there. Yeah, I got relayed down there, and we like to see Raven be a little more aggressive. She's earned it. I mean, she's got to have a bunch of assists, her and Kylie, for those kickouts for threes, so she she deserves a little bit of that. Now we, now we need to see her knock these down. She just, She's earned them, so knock down these free throws, Raven. A little more legs on this one, and it'll go in. I bet you, I'll bet you she hits this one. Get in there. Told you. No doubter. <laughs> Never had a doubt. Never had a doubt. So now we're back, dropping back. It looks like we're in a 1 3 1 now. Coach came to see Lincoln. Coach calling out a few sets that he wants. Nice baseline shot. Just long. Rebound for Marcy Bunch. Gonna bring it up, be patient, and for smart, we'll work for a really good shot here and see, like again, see what we, we can do here. They're coming out, they're gonna have to extend the bounds to West, uh, or I'm sorry, Cambridge City Lincoln's gonna get the ball there. So, six minutes left to go. West Hill's up 34 11. Kylie's still staying active on the ball. Really making there's Marcy with that read again. Another deflection. I know she's got to have a, a bunch of deflections tonight. I, again, I'll have to ask Coach if he comes up to talk after the game and see if, they, if that's a stat they keep. I'd like to know how many deflections she has tonight. I'm probably the only one in this gym that cares how many deflections she has. But. I think I that's, a, that's, that's a, a stat, stat we like. Right. <laughs> to drive. There's a foul on the floor. Andrea Stoughton. She's not real happy about it, but uh, call to reach in. Actually, they're not going to call it on Andrea, so they'll call it on Kylie. Out of bounds here. Coming right back to her. There's that pass. And steal and turnover. Oh, blocked. And we got beat the defense down the floor, got blocked. And Might be one we could have pulled back out there and run a little offense. Steal by Jackie. She's got one person to beat. She's going to miss the layup, rebound, pass to, from Andrea to Raven. Nice little dump down pass. And, Way to run the floor. We, you know, we like to see that. If, don't assume that they're going to make the layup. Get down there and clean it up, just in case that defense bothers them enough that they miss it. So yeah. a great job there. That's exactly what I was going to say, Coach. It was good to see two of our girls sprinting the floor, just in case that shot was missed. Still turned out okay for us. Returning well, yeah, I know you have their roster. Oh, what's what's well, their head coach's name? Uh, the head coach is Gary Lehman. He's done a great job of being very patient with his girls. And the, I've watched him. I, I like to watch coaches coach. And both these guys are really teaching, trying to teach the game. And when there's a mistake, they're not, you know, screaming or yelling. They're really teaching the game well. And I think he's done a nice job and keeping really, being really positive with the girls. And I always like to see that. I know the parents appreciate that. But. Foul on the floor. Her alley's been beat up a little bit tonight. Jenna Love's going to check in for the first time tonight. Get a little action here, 36 to 11. Well, got the official explaining the call, and so I'm not sure she agreed with it, and I know how she feels. Nice pass fake from Alley. Marcy with the three. It's out. Rebound Cambridge and steal for Marcy. And a shot. And a block, and Marcy's going to get two shots out of that heads-up play right there. And that 
may have been it for 30. That might be the it. Looks like that's a fifth foul for Shane Gray. Looks like uh, Got a little three, help. Shayanna Gray reports in. Got a little help here behind us with some officiating. It's always nice when the crowd likes to help us out. We haven't shot our free throws real well tonight. I'm sure that coach probably loves it when we would say, you know, you probably ought to work on free throws. I love when people always say that. You know, we ought to work on your free throws. Yeah, we work on those every day, and I know the girls do too. It's just a routine. You've got to trust your routine, especially late in the game when you're tired. There's a long pass across court. Right into the trap. We don't want to foul here. Tipped another deflection. Could have been either Kylie or Mar Marcy for either one of those on that deflection. Four minutes to go. Westell's up 37 to 11. Still being active. Still showing that pack line defense there. Right. Yeah, the one thing you don't want to do right now is foul. It's hard when you're up because you want to be aggressive. You're a kid that doesn't get a play very much. So you're thinking, you know what? I want to get a steal. I want to get, you know, we've, we've played really well. I've been aggressive all game. Now I want to get, be able to get something you know, and get a little result out of it. But in this case, you just don't want to foul. You want the clock to run. The clock is our friend. We don't want them to be able to score points when it's not running. We're staying, trapping the ball when it comes to the wings. Otherwise, we're kind of staying right there. Three, long rebound. Andrew Stoughton's going to push. A little running one-hander there from about nine feet, just, just a little short. Both coaches still coaching them up with three minutes to go. Learn how to... You know, we've got some girls in there that haven't played a whole lot, and the best thing you can do is keep coaching them, teaching them. There's a freshman, Anderson. Olivia three. Anderson for three. She's going to have a nice career over the next four years. Yes, I think you're right. Jenna Love, pass to Alyssa Stoughton. I'll probably get these mixed up, girls, if sorry. Hopefully I don't. There's a... Rebound from Cambridge. 2.30 left, 37-14. Don't want to foul. Andrew didn't like that goal, but <laughs> any time you swat down on the ball like that, you kind of yeah. got pinned behind and then swatted down. She's out Odds of position. Are. Yeah, she's right. out of position from the start. She slides around and gets the other side on the bottom of that. She might be able to go straight up, but like you said, anytime you kind of swat down, We're even if it's not a foul, it looks four. like it may be, and the officials, that's an easy call. The game story enters the game for West Ham. So two free throws, Cambridge. So they hit one or two. 37-15. Adley Felder in the game four, Lincoln. So now we've got a really young team in there. We, we, we're young to start with, and now we've got a really young team in there. Long shot from Bustells, just long. A rebound, got a jump ball. Kaylin Story in the game, getting a little bit of action there, number 11. Two minutes to go. So you just want to stay active. Now both teams are in the bonus, so now you really don't want to foul. You just want to let this clock run. She's in love with the deflection, nice deflection. there. Want to let this clock run for a lot of reasons. One, because you have a big lead, and two, I'm not sure you've had dinner yet. Have you? No, I haven't. No, so we want this clock to run because Todd needs to get home and get dinner. Nice rebound there from Lauren Cox. Nice block out. 
I'm gonna push the ball up to Jenna. Ooh, she dri dribbed out of bounds. It's gonna be Cambridge City ball. 151 left in this game. And you want the clock to run. And I want Coach Todd's stomach to stop growling. Still staying in that defense again. You want to be aggressive without fouling. Learn how to play the game. Play it. It's a varsity game. The girls are excited to be in there. Some of them dribble, turnover. Cambridge City will go to Westell with a minute 28 to go. Coach is still calling all the sets, trying to let them get a little bit of action, get good shots, put them in positions where they can do things well. Still moving the ball around. Shot missed by Alyssa. Rebound and a travel call on Westall. I think she got her feet caught up with her own player that might have been right underneath her. She didn't have an opportunity to get that ball out of yeah, there before she stepped over. Just stumble and get yeah. that extra step there. So we're down to a minute. Westell's got this one in hand. Pass down underneath. Picked up by Jenna. She's ahead of the pack. This goes. The girls are all excited for her. Oh, blocked. Oh, she can't come in bounds. There you go. Right. Jenna was ahead of her. That's the right thing. She's got to try to just attack. And, and girl, there was three girls there. One of them just happened to get a hand up. But that's the right thing. you got to want to attack. When you get that deep, you try to score. If you're a freshman, you really try to score. A little split. Another block, Cambridge City, rebound. Anderson pushes it ahead. And, oh, in and out. Looks like Jenna just kind of heard you uh, say you've talked to your daughter, Rachel, about just adjusting to the speed of the yes. game and what they're used to as Jenna being a freshman. Uh, and the game's a little faster than what she's used to from the middle school level. Right, right, and it's an adjustment. And you're going from eighth grade to varsity. That's a big adjustment. The shot missed. Rebound from Cambridge. Two, one, and that's will do it. So Westell pulls off a nice victory here tonight. Right here at the Richard E. Johnson Gymnasium with a 37. 15 win, and as customary these days, we wave to the other team, tell them good game, talk to them about, uh, you know, you can't really even say anything, I, which I don't understand as a coach. We've just played and wrestled around and knocked each other over and guarded each other this whole time, and now we can't go shake hands. But uh, that being said, it was a nice win for Westell. Coach giesman has got the girls down there, and one of the things we talk about is celebrate the wins. Celebrate them all, every one of them. It doesn't matter if it's a big win, uh, a short win, whatever, but uh, you got to celebrate those wins. So looks like uh, we're going to send Marcy Bunch up here to talk to us. Um, so we're going to take a, just a short break to get her ready, make sure she doesn't fall getting over here, and then we'll be right back with, uh, with Marcy Bunch. So we're back here at uh, Richard E. Johnson Gymnasium after a nice 37 to 15 win. Um, we're here with junior guard, forward guard, whatever you want to call her. She played it all tonight, Marcy Bunch. Marcy, I uh, thought you guys played really well, and I thought the key tonight for you guys was your defense. So talk a little bit about what defensively Coach was talking about the, before the game, what he wanted to see from you guys. I know that you talk about this stuff in practice. I've watched you guys practice. But what are some of the keys going into tonight that Coach wanted you to focus on defensively as a team? Well, um, I know in the beginning we didn't do very good on defense, but towards the end of the game we started to actually pick it up and drop down to get the post and just move forward from there. One of the things we were, I, I commented a bunch on tonight was the fact that I thought you did a really good job of reading from that back line. A lot of that starts with the pressure that you're getting from the guards up front, and from the, but you did a really nice job in the back line of reading the defense and, and getting out to shooters and getting a lot of deflections. I don't know if you guys keep that stat. I don't know if Coach keeps deflections, yeah. but he does. if he does, you had a bunch of them tonight. 
because there was a couple of times. Now there's one that you'd like to have back that was right out here in front of everybody. Yeah. That, but but for the most part, I thought anytime you and Raven did a really nice job in the back line of of uh, getting deflections on the on the passes and reading those passes that were out there. Were you seeing anything that you liked from up front? Or was it just one of those things where it was just kind of reading the ball or reading the traps? Well, we had to use our front people as basically like a dummy to basically, I guess, hide me so I could, they wouldn't see me coming every time. Okay, so um, so you were the dummy or the other guy? I mean, I mean oh, okay. ba basically, <laughs> I guess. I just can't. Shoe fits where it <laughs> So another thing I think that we do really well and did a great job tonight was inside out. Yeah. Whenever the ball goes from on the offensive end, goes inside to our post players, boy Kylie and uh, Raven. Raven do a great job of turning and finding that opposite. And you guys got some really good looks tonight. So um, I know you guys talk about that. Was that an emphasis at practice that you guys work on a lot? And, and uh, tell me how it felt out there as far as like getting your feet set and, and uh, what kind of shots you felt like you were able to get tonight. Well, I know mostly we are set shooters, and in practice we, I mean, watched film of how they their defense was set up. So I guess working around as seeing that they would overload on one side, that the opposite side would always be open. And it was, and, and so that's good. Following a game plan is always important. We, as coaches, we can show you all those game plans, but if you guys don't Not follow, follow them, <laughs> yeah, if you don't follow it, doesn't make any difference. So a lot of credit goes to you guys for following the game plan tonight. So. Nice win. You guys have, uh, what's this, your third win yeah. this year? Yeah. So we've already got three wins already. And but one thing you may not know was, I think we, what they have seven points at the end of the first quarter? What'd they end up with there? I, I don't remember. It's, it's like, seven to 15 it, at halftime. Yeah. yeah, and so we held them, I know in the third quarter, you held, we held them to one point. So I like the intensity. I like the way you guys are playing. Uh, how, how do you guys feel? going into the next couple games? How do you feel as a team? Where, where do you feel like you're at right now? Because again, no seniors this year. Yeah, yeah. And so how, how do you guys feel, uh, you know, going into the, the games we have coming up? Well, basically, I think we just need to keep the momentum moving forward and keep what we had in this game going forward. And during practice, I think we need to work on our defense a little better on dropping back and just reading that. Well. Just thought we'd uh, have you come up and say a few words. We're really proud of you tonight. Did you have anything you wanted to add here? No. Okay. Yeah, Good he game. always has something to say. He does? Oh, I'm sure it'll be after. It's not the, polite. It's oh, not, yeah. After the microphone's off. Proud of you. Proud of the win. Really happy to see you guys pull that off. Thought you played really well. Excited for you. I'm excited that you already got your third win this year. And uh, I know that you're expecting more. And uh, we'd love to see it. I told them I've seen every game so far. And I just love to watch you guys. Uh, you know, the way you compete, but I also like to watch your sportsmanship and the way you guys handle yourselves and carry yourselves. So uh, pass that along to the girls that we're up here. We're all really proud of you, and we can't wait to watch you guys play again. Thank you. Thanks. Good game, Marcy. Thanks. So that was Marcy Bunch. Um, kind of just to wrap up a little bit tonight. I don't know if we'll get Coach over here or not, but uh, kind of wrap up a little bit tonight. Uh, a couple of things. Just to recap, Coach, that you felt like you saw tonight, and then I'll wrap it up. For the night. Well, I felt like Marcy was kind of critical of their defensive effort, <laughs> and I actually thought it was relatively well. Uh, like I said, early in the game, it led to a lot of transition baskets for them. Um, like I said, in the first half, which we later found out our audience didn't get, but um, they always play with energy. When I've watched them play, Kylie, Marcy, Raven, they always play hard. And like you said, deflections end up being positive things. And I thought they did a good job of that tonight. Yeah, and, and again, I've seen them play almost every game, if not all of them. And one of the things I, I always comment about them, whether they're way up, way down, even, whatever, they're going to give you the constant effort. There's something to be said for that. We talk about that a lot. One thing we don't want to have to coach is their effort. I don't think Coach Giesman ever has to coach their effort. I think he, I think that it's a, it's the one constant that we have right now. And so we, when you know you're going to get effort, you know, the other things will, will come as you continue to get better and you continue to work. Again, we have no, we have no uh, seniors on the team, so we'll continue to get better because Coach really cares about the girls. He cares about the program. And he cares about everyone getting better out there and doing 
doing the right thing. And uh, as long as you're doing those things, then good things are going to happen to you. And, and so I'm really proud of the girls tonight. I know that uh, you know the wins have been hard to come by in the past. And so anytime they can get one like this and continue to keep playing well, uh, boy, it sure makes practice a lot more fun the next day. And, and um, I'm just really happy for them. So, uh, you know, we'll kind of wrap it up tonight for, from uh, here at Westo. But um, we want to make sure that we uh, thank the uh, crew here that's helped us out. We apologize there for the first half that we weren't able to hear us, but it might be a blessing in disguise. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's been fun. I think we're going to try to do a couple more games and, and uh, do the home ones. And uh, I'm glad that you were able to pop up here. And, and uh, uh, I would say that we could only get better. I, mean, I don't know. It could get any worse. So we could only get better. So, uh, if, uh, what Coach Mr. Denny says, if, if he wants to come up, yeah, if we want to get Coach to come up here, then we'll talk to him. He, 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 he's coming over here like he had to have an invitation. I, mean, I know Coach well enough that you know, he doesn't need an invitation to come over here. I mean, here he comes. He's sauntering over here. Yeah. Coach Keys was going to, he wants to come up and talk. So. Yeah, it works. Again, we'll, we'll ask Coach a few questions, but he could probably wrap it up as well as anybody. So. We'll take just a short break as Coach is getting up here, and we'll be right back in 30 seconds. Okay, we're back, and uh, we're joined here with uh, head coach, Coach Giesman. Can you hear me all right, Coach? No? Well, we'll see if we can hear you. If not, I'll bring the microphone up to you. All right, can you, am I on? Can you hear, can you hear him okay? Mr. Denny says, yes, he doesn't know, and he's, yes. like usual, he doesn't know. <laughs> we're we're going to gonna roll with it. I know they can hear me on this microphone, so... Um, We'll just go from there, and I'm sure that they'll be able to pick you up on here. So, Coach, nice win tonight. I thought your defensive effort was great. I thought you played really well. Um, I talked to Marcy about this. I said, Coach and I were talking. I don't know if you keep deflections as a stat, but we do, and it's a really important stat for us. And I thought, man, you got a lot of deflections tonight, and I really thought that it led to some good shots, but more than anything, kept Cambridge City off balance. What? When you're talking about deflections, you know, we keep the stats on that too. And and the big thing I focus on our defense was this Zorro, or we also we, we get into this trapping with a it looks like a two three, but it's a high trap, and we go off of Kylie because she's leading the team in deflection, but we got three other girls is touching the ball too. And I tell everybody it eventually it's going to come together, and tonight it did on these deflections. And the, and I won't know till I watch the film and do the stats but uh, we're up or pretty high tonight yeah you had to have a lot of them I know Marcy and uh, Kylie both had a lot of deflections and, yeah and uh, we were we were discussing how good of a job Marcy and um, Raven doing that back back reading those passes right uh, we kind of were talking about that all really starts up front right the, it does it's, it, it starts with Kylie but Marcy is my anticipator and that's what we work on in practice is it's going to be on a reversal and she does such a great job reading that. Um, Andrea start picking it up because we, we switched her and we moved her down and she's not used to playing that position because she's at the wing. And tonight was the first night we went ahead and moved her down and, and she'll get it. But here's the other thing is we got some girls coming off the bench now that is starting to step up so we can give some of these girls breaks right. so they can have 
their fresh legs to come out. And that's important, and as the game goes on, it gets more and more important. As the season goes on, it gets more important. On the offensive end, I think one of the things I was most impressed with, Coach, is your inside-out game. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we were talking about how well and how good of a job Marcy said it was part of the scouting report and the game plan, so I said I'm proud at least one team in this school can follow a game plan. But they, the inside-out game led to a lot of nice shots, and a lot of them were threes, which I know you're not afraid to – to let them shoot because right. they shoot and they shot them with confidence. Not all of them went in, uh, but uh, if you're shooting them with confidence, that's half the battle. But the inside out game was really good. And, and I also tell them it's less turnovers. Yeah. You know, early in the in the season, we've been turning the ball over because uh, we hesitate on shooting and we was trying to do that one extra pass too many. And then all week, I tell you, ever since the tri central game, you you get beat by a good team, but you, if you can learn from those games, and we sat down and broke it down, and we came in, and one of the things was the pressure that we wasn't handling. With running some of our drills, and and I know Riley's not here, one of our coaching, uh, she's at home sick, but uh, we worked on two against one, and it was her idea to come up when we were sitting there watching it, is uh, let's send two girls on our guards and work on pressure, and then for three minutes and then we brought in another girl on defense against uh, one of her teammates and they had to get open and take care of the ball for 30 seconds or whatever. Uh, the other thing was, is I know we don't have uh, Rachel tonight, but Rachel was part of this where she was going to be the one to be the other dissipator and we worked with her and she's homesick right now too. So that means somebody else had to step up, which Lauren Cox, I thought she did a wonderful job tonight. Yeah, she did great. You know, but, you know, here's again, we got we got some girls, freshman girls, that's starting to starting to get more playing time on the bars. They're starting to pick it up, and and in their passes. We're, we went to using weight balls in practice on passes and stuff, and I noticed our passes were stronger tonight. So you may get beat by some ranked teams like we did with Blue River the other night, to rank number seven. But we got to come back and show the girls what we learned from those good teams, and I think tonight. We showed it, you know. Everybody was in their right position for defense, and man, we had a lot of deflections tonight. Yeah, you did, and, and again, I thought I thought we moved the ball well. I thought offensively, defensively, we looked we looked a, uh, you know. And one of the things I kept commenting is we have to remember we don't have any seniors out yeah. there, so you know a lot of these girls are kind of like you said, learning every game. And if we if we can do that, we can learn to take something from every game, get better every game find a way to match the speed of the game and right. I see I see that happening with a lot of our girls and yeah. uh, so you know the, the the longer the season goes the more comfortable they get right. the speed gets more manageable and you start seeing things like you saw tonight really good things happening and I, I told the girls in there you got to remember uh, there's just a few of them was out here on the varsity last year with the five seniors right and now you know, we got six, seven girls are playing constantly in and out every position. And and again, I know Rachel's not here tonight. She's home sick, but that girl plays as a freshman. She has to play every position. So in practice, we move her from post to out in the guard. And now all of a sudden, we got somebody that, that can come off and relieve Raven or even Kylie. And now tonight, Lauren Cox, we did not lose nothing with her coming out too. So these girls that had less playing time last year on varsity, all of a sudden now we just jumped to 10 girls yeah. and it's it's nice it's nice and that's how you're we're 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 preparing ourselves getting better every year or every every week for our our sectional and yeah. that's our goal you know and it's always important to get that depth it's always important to see your players continue to to get better and as coaches we know that that leads to um good things down the road but the other thing we both commented on was uh, how good of a job we thought you were doing coaching. And I gave credit to the other coach too. I thought you guys both really coached yeah. the girls the right way and did yeah. things the right way. And I thought that was, you know, yeah, as, as a coach, yes. as a coach, it makes me proud to watch he, you guys He's on coach. his way up with his program too. And, yeah. you know, and I told him that uh, we only get better, both of us, when we play like this and right. pushing each other. And he, he has some talent that's coming up. Yeah, you know, and, freshman and, guard's gonna be good. Yeah, and he's he's got two girls that that wasn't playing they wasn't starters but like you said they came off the bench and mm -hmm. and um, you know he'd be fine down the road I just told him that he, he just got to keep on uh, keep the confidence in the girls you know because that was a big thing I had here that 
that I had to get them to adjust to is have some confidence. Sure. And then I, you know, hey, this this is this win is for the school, for this team, the community. I mean, we're we're three wins and six losses, and it's been a while. Yeah, and we're proud of you. I can tell yeah, we were really you, proud of Marcy girls, and. Uh, yeah. And the girls are excited. It's good to see the smiles on their faces when yeah. they're coming out and all that stuff. So who do we have next, Coach? Well, we got Alexandra, and okay. uh, there's a, another one that uh, we got to stay focused, keep the turnovers down, okay. do what we did tonight. You know, when we get in our defensive spots, we make them create the turnovers. Not a, and it can happen. They're, they're a good team, but, you know, uh, we're getting better, and I can say we're going to be a good team, too, down the road. So. Uh, yeah. We'll see what happens next Well, week. let's worry about them later That's and right. enjoy tonight, uh, right, Coach? Yeah, okay. I tell, them, I tell yeah. our players, I tell them, the older I get, the more I realize you celebrate the wins. Yeah, yeah you Really do. celebrate them because yeah. they always, you know, sometimes yeah. as coaches were like, well, we didn't do this, this, and this, and I got to bring myself back and say, let's celebrate the wins. So congratulations right. tonight, you. Coach. Thank you, guys. Thank I'm you proud of you, and we'll, yeah. we'll be back next home game. Okay. Coach Todd and I, if I'll drag him back okay. up here, and we'll be back, and we're uh, happy to uh, – Happy to see a big win tonight. Well, for we you. appreciate you guys doing this. This is nice for the girls. Yeah. Well, okay. Good luck. Thank and you. Uh, we'll see you down the road, coach. Okay. Thank you. So we'll wrap it up real quick here from Westell uh, Gymnasium. This sounds like coach is really proud, and uh, you should be of the girls. And what a great group of girls. And coach, I thought, um, you know, he could see that he was excited for them. And as a coach, you know, a lot of times it's just fun to see the smiles on their face. Yeah, and I know, you know, I've seen the girls on and off the court how much they love Coach Giesman, and you can tell it goes both ways, so that's always good to see. So, again, another nice win tonight for Westell. We'll wrap it up here. Thanks to Mr. Romine for having everything set up because I can promise you Coach Todd and I have no idea what we're doing, and he could easily blame any issues that happen on us and he's shaking his head and, and, and we would not know any better. We could just tell us we pushed the wrong button. But thanks to those uh, to him for having everything set up. It's a lot of fun and uh, glad to see our first – maybe we're good luck. I mean, the first hey. game was a win. so We're 1-0 uh, as – Yeah, uh, as an announcer. That puts a little bit of pressure on us. So. <laughs> All right. So for here at Westell, for Coach Todd – Mr. Romine. I'm Coach McLaughlin. Until we see you next time, stay safe and uh, good luck.